What's up everybody? I've spent over 500 hours building over 50 smart lead integrations and in this video I'm going to be sharing my top 5 API endpoints that are going to help you streamline your workflows, integrate with other platforms and ultimately leverage the incredible power of the smart lead API. Let's dive into it. And so for those of you that may be unaware there's two places that you can find the API documentation for Smart Lead. The first one being help.smartlead.ai and the second one being api.smartlead.ai. Both of them are going to work perfectly fine, but it's really up to you what you would like. And so to talk about the first endpoint, my favorite endpoint, it would be this list all campaigns URL. I've used this to create an insane amount of automations, uh, some of them looking something like this, where we were doing daily campaign monitoring, grabbing all of the analytics for our campaigns and creating dashboards within tools like Google Sheets, Airtable, ClickUp, etc. Um, I've also used that same URL endpoint to create campaign backups um for all of my subsequences that i could then duplicate i've also used this same url endpoint to grab the campaign analytics um and then output it in slack into something like this which was telling me how many leads were not started on an individual campaign basis and on a client basis we can also check for bounce rates and do all sorts of crazy things but the thing that's powering all of that is this list all campaigns module and so if you were just starting out what you would do is navigate to any of these api docs and then copy this url right here once that's been done you want to create a brand new scenario and what you're going to be using is this http module so smart lead at the moment they don't have uh api module that you can use but i'm sure that's coming in the near future but for now you would be using this http module make a request and once that's been done you're going to paste your url endpoint and then you're going to find your api key where to find the api key is within smart lead and so you navigate over to your settings and your profile there's going to be your API key. And so right here, I'm going to go ahead and copy my API key and then paste it in Smart Lead right here. Once I've pasted that, I'm going to parse the response and then I'm going to run this once. What this module is going to do is output every single campaign that we have live. It's going to include all of the subsequences, parent sequences, all of the campaigns that are paused, archived, whatever it's going to include all of that information and using that we're going to be able to filter through that parse the data out and do a whole bunch of other stuff and so this is the very first step the next thing you're going to always include with this module is an iterator and so what this initial module did is that it outputted all of the campaigns in individual in in arrays um, so what we need to do with the iterator is parse through this data to split them up so that we can then look at them one by one. And so all you need to do is simply paste your data endpoint right here. Once that's done, every single campaign, as I mentioned, is going to be looked at at an individual level. And this is what it would look like. Now, that is the very first module that I would consider to be my favorite. I've used it an insane amount of stuff. But something that I like to pair with it many, many, many times is my second favorite module, which is the campaign analytics URL. And this is what the URL looks like. I'll show you where to get it in a second. But this is what's allowing us to find all of the analytics that we've outputted in this Google Sheets document. It's also what's allowing us to find the data of how many leads are not started, how many bounces are happening, and all sorts of stuff. It's also what we've used many, many other times for other things, but this is the URL that's powering that. And so to find that, you simply want to control F and then just search for analytics. And so this, <laughs> I can't spell, um, anyways, I've got it here. So fetch camp top level campaign analytics, this endpoint is what we're looking for. Now, 
We're going to copy this URL and then paste it into the second module, and I'll show you how that works uh, in just a second. So I'll, I'll find the same HTTP module, make a request, paste the URL, find my API key, and paste that. Once I've done that, I'm going to input my campaign ID that we've sourced from the very first module. So the list all campaigns, it has a bunch of campaigns and a bunch of IDs with it. And so I'm going to paste the ID right here and then parse response as we did for everything else. And so once I run this again, uh, we're going to have looked through a bunch of different campaigns individually. And then we're going to be parsing through all of their individual data. And so that's what is going to be outputted at the end of this. And so that's the very first two modules. These are my favorite ones. I've used them for so many things. And I think you guys should start using them because once you've done these first three steps here, you can do anything. So let's get into the third one. So my third favorite API endpoint is this one right here, which is fetch lead by email address. I've used this on so many occasions, but typically I'm using this to create a two-way sync between different platforms. And so in this example, it's an integration between Google Calendar and Smart Lead. And what this is doing is checking for whenever events happen on Google Calendar, we're checking for the attendees within Smart Lead. And if they exist, we're going to be pausing all of their campaigns and then changing the lead categories to meeting request, or we can create new categories such as meeting booked, and we're using the API to change those automatically. But the only thing that we have is their email address, because that's all. That's the only thing that Google Calendar provides to us. And so since that's the only thing we have, this automation is going to help us check whether they exist or don't exist within Smart Lead. And so I'll do a quick run right here to show you all of the information that we get whenever we run this URL endpoint. Um, this right here is an example of Google Calendar, but I've done this using uh, HubSpot, ClickUp, Airtable, et cetera. And this automation always, always comes in handy whenever the data from the alternative source is limited to an email address. And so my fourth favorite one is this one right here, which is add client to system. And what this is going to allow you to do is automatically cl create clients within the smart lead client access. And so if you have a bunch of different clients, then this is super, super valuable. And it's one of my favorite features personally. And so I use ClickUp as my primary project management tool. If you use Notion, Asana, Airtable, it doesn't matter. It's all the same process regardless. And so whenever I onboard a brand new client, I simply need to put the client name of the decision maker. And then from there, I will input their email address and this key information right here. I can also input this other data, though it's not relevant at this point in time. Once I click Save, it's going to fire off a webhook that's going to go to this automation right here. This is my brand new client automation. We create an onboarding doc that is templatized to our company with key information on them. We check their Stripe um, and add renewal dates. As you've seen here, I've got renewal date. We add targets. We do a whole bunch of stuff, but the point is, what we're also doing is adding that client using the URL endpoint that I've just mentioned onto Smart Lead. And this is going to come in handy on so many occasions. And so let me give you one example of that, but you can use your brain and your imagination to think of dozens of other ones, right? And so using this client information being in Smart Lead, we're able to extract all of the data and group it by our individual clients. And so this is an example of that, where I've created a filter to show only the analytics that are coming from my client account. And this way, we're able to see what's relevant for each individual client. If you don't do this, you're going to get a whole bunch of campaigns that are all jumbled up together 
and it's not going to be very actionable for you on a client by client basis. You can obviously also create graphs and charts that are also filtered out by this key information, which is the client. And so that's my fourth one. Let's get into the fifth one. Finally, we have update email account. This is going to come in super, super handy whenever you've just created brand new email accounts and you want to make bulk updates to them. And the key information that I tend to use this URL endpoint to change is the BCC to CRM setting and the custom tracking domain and sometimes the messages per day. And so why this is relevant is that if you were to attempt to bulk select all of the email accounts you have within your smart lead account and then you want to change the bcc to crm setting first things first you'll notice that it doesn't exist here however on this url endpoint it does exist and you can change it super easily the next thing you'll notice is that you are able to change the custom tracking domain However, you're only able to change it to one value at a time. And right here, I've got 60 accounts. Some of you may have hundreds, thousands of accounts, and this is probably not the best way to change all of your custom tracking domains. But you can use this URL endpoint to customize all of those custom tracking domains seamlessly. And what I mean by that is if you were to look at my account right here, We've got noel at theafonto.com and the custom tracking domain is emails at theafonto.ca. The custom tracking for buyatafonto.com is buyatafonto.com. The custom tracking for theafonto.com is also different. And for this one right here, it's also different. And so if you wanted to dynamically modify all of the custom tracking domains seamlessly, this automation and this endpoint would allow you to do those seamlessly. And so what this is doing right here is getting all of the email accounts that we have within SmartLead and we're iterating through all of those email accounts using the iterator, similar to how we did it in the very first example in this video. And then finally, we're using the URL endpoint that I've just shown you to modify those email accounts. We're changing the max emails per day, the custom tracking URLs, the BCC uh, to CRM emails. We're changing the time to wait and we can change uh, other information such as the client ID, etc. Now, the key thing is uh, I typically use this whenever I've just created brand new accounts. So I'm not using this for accounts that have been on my smart lead for for 30 days a week etc i'm usually using this whenever an account is created i want to make sure that the bcc is always accurate the open tracking is always accurate and another cool thing i, I like to do is make sure that the messages per day are always 30. and so if a messages per day inside smart lead are 200 for example it's going to bring it to 30. if the messages are less than 30 this formula allows me to have that. And so if it's 10, it's going to stay 10. If it's 20, it stays 20. But anyways, that is the video. Those are the top five API endpoints that I love to use within Smart Lead. But obviously there's an insane amount of things you can do with the API. And so if you guys want to follow up to this video, or perhaps you have some questions, please leave a comment down below and we'll happy to have those questions answered. And if you have any video suggestions, we'll be happy to make those as well. Cheers.